guys how's going on my name is Luis and god bless every single one of you today is june 14 2023 and welcome to the grand supreme news channel all right guys so we have some breaking news updates some very important information coming out if you can please share the video and it says here las vegas ufo mystery get more weird as cop install cameras at home where residents reported seeing aliens Let's stop here for a second guys you see this picture on the left side that's a camera all right that's not to capture aliens or it, it's not even pointed up in the sky it's just pointed down these are the type of cameras that you see in walmart park um, parking lot or target or amazon facility um yeah there's something wrong here guys i don't think it's to uh you know look for aliens i think they are keeping an eye on the people that saw the aliens all right guys before i start give this video big thumbs up share this video with your friends family so loved ones i appreciate the love and support and for those of you that want to contribute to the channel once again the paypal link and the patreon link is in the description box also guys one dollar a month patreon we get your access to our live stream every sunday we talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform also, guys, I posted videos today. Those link will be in the comments box. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Guys, I just posted a video not too long ago. In the next 48 hours, Europe could see a massive cyber event hitting the bank system. So it's very important to pray for a lot of people out there. Now, these groups are notorious for taking out, you know, certain uh, companies, big companies. I think they're the one that uh, took out the uh, the pipeline from Texas to New, uh, New York. Uh, the hackers, whatever their name is. Uh, so uh, these are the same people that's coming out and saying in the next 48 hours, Europe banking system system will be impacted. So the link will be in the comments box. Make sure you share the video, guys. All right, so. What in the world? All right, guys, I got the article and everything. Look at this camera. I mean, it's it's not even facing up. It's facing. Is there a possibility the alien is still in there? <laughs> Man. Uh, there's something going on here, guys. There is something going on here. Uh. They got this camera literally in the backyard. I guess it's in the backyard where they uh, supposedly the two creatures uh, were at. Um... All right, give me a second here. Let me just let me look at this one here really quick. Hold on, this person posts something. So. What in the world? Let me just read this, Craig. Uh, so the mother told me they came out. They came out there. Oh, I guess this is a uh, this is that same person that saw the alien or something like that. So uh, the mother told me they uh, they came out there and put up the cameras, supposedly to protect the family from people coming to bother them. Ab oh, oh. I can tell you right now, cops don't come out. And put up expensive video equipment like that. And they certainly wouldn't uh, for someone calling it calling in a report about a UFO. Um there's a lot of stuff going on here. Uh I mean, number one, there's a possibility this kid is getting harassed. Not harassed, but there's a lot of people just coming up to him. There's a lot of UFO fanatic out there. Uh they just, you know, probably try to talk to him and uh, yeah, uh, believe it or not, there, there are people out there that probably knock on his door at three o'clock in the morning. So, um, or there's a possibility, uh, I don't know, guys, there's so much to it. I think they're keeping an eye on, I mean, yeah, they're keeping an eye on, uh, on the family. The Gov, it's a possibility the Gov is keeping an eye on them. Uh -huh. all right guys one thing i tell you i don't believe in aliens i i 
I got to put that out there. Um, the Bible says that there are fallen angels, antichrist spirits, dark forces. All right, so that's what the Bible says in the end time. Uh, first John, people need to read first John, where um, John says that many, many, many antichrist spirits will come into the world. Now, in the end time, you also have the, the angels that will be released in the Euphrates rivers. That's why a lot of people are talking about the Euphrates River is completely uh, empty. There's no water. And supposedly there are caves, underground tunnel, tunnels. Uh, people are hearing like some kind of uh, screaming going on down there, like demonic screams. Uh, again, I wouldn't believe those videos, guys. A lot of people just post that on social media just to gain views. But uh, in the book of Revelation, it does speak about the Euphrates uh, River and that the angels will be released. And uh, again, a lot of them are, you know, demonic forces, antichrist spirits. Uh, we are seeing, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, we are seeing them right now. So when it comes to this right here, guys, um, just be careful. All right, because the world uh, knows how to deceive people. So be careful with uh, the things that you read. Now, I'm not saying this is fake. I'm not saying this is real. But uh, again, um, I report this just to let you know, guys, that, uh, you know, it, 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 it's just the news that's uh, putting it out there. So uh, my job as a watchman is to let you guys know to stay focused in the word of God. All right. All this here, this here is not going to lead you to the kingdom of heaven. All right. But uh, I just bring it up to let you guys know what's really going on. Uh, I don't believe in it. Uh, and now, you know, with all this stuff, cameras and, um, you know, people, uh, harassing these, uh, family, it, it, it just, you know, there's a lot more to it. All right. So Las Vegas UFO mystery de deepens as police install high tech surveillance cameras. These are Walmart cameras. Just looking at it. Maybe the police think that the family are UFO. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. So it says here, the Las Vegas UFO mystery has taken a puzzling turn with the installation of advanced surveillance cameras by the Vegas Metro Police Department outside the residence where locals uh, witnessed the presence of 10 foot aliens with large shiny eyes. So you have Doug, um, an ex-law enforcement officer, actively tracking the incident involving the unidentified object descending from the heavens. Uh, express uh, his uh, bewilderment uh, regarding the uh, reset, uh, reasoning behind the police department decision, the Daily Mail reported. Um, so Las Vegas mystery. Now cops install the cameras to protect house residents from ufo oh come on get this uh, uh okay now let me stop here guys uh this is just nuts um there's a lot more to it it's not no only ufo come on um cops install camera to protect house residents from ufo fanatics uh who might bother them okay i should have read the whole thing but uh Um, number one, who gave him the address? The police made sure that uh, those information were blocked. Maybe neighbors. And then all of a sudden the word got out. Um, so upon interviewing the family who reported the incident, they revealed to him that the law enforcement officials had placed the camera as a means to safeguard them from potential interference by UFO um, enthusiasts. Uh, so basically, UFO fanatics out there that keep harassing the uh, uh, the family. Although having doubts, this person, a podcaster, acknowledged certain level of credibility in a family's account. Furthermore, police body cam footage documented an alleged UFO sighting in Las Vegas. All right. Um, claims of encountering 10 foot aliens with large shining eyes within the confines of their own backyard. 
So according to a report by local TV Channel 8 News Now, a camera belonging to a Las Vegas officer captured footage of an object around 11.50 p.m. on April 30th following a resident's report of an entity on their property that was 100% not human. Now, this story broke out uh, May 1st, but it started trending June 10th. It took a while, all right? So uh, one person actually on TikTok, he's the one that kind of brought it up uh, and kind of shared it and boom, it blew up in TikTok, uh, on TikTok. And then it went on Twitter and that's when the story broke out. So the recorded video uh, depicts a swiftly moving bright blue orb uh, traversing the sky, the night sky, roughly 39 minutes later. So the way, guys, I seen the video, the body cam, it seemed like it was a meteor, uh, meteor. Um, it looked like it disintegrated in the sky. And then 39 minutes later, uh, someone called 911 saying, Hey, there's some creatures in the backyard. They're not humans. They, they, uh, they creatures. I see. Okay. So roughly 39 minutes later. Another individual uh, contacted emergency services, informing them of two unfamiliar beings in their backyard following the sighting of a descending object from above. Homeowner provides startling details to police about UFO sightings. The audio obtained um, by the TV channel revealed that the homeowner provided details to the police regarding the incident. There's like an eight foot person beside it and another one uh, is inside us. And it has big eyes and it look, uh, is looking at us and it's still, uh, it's still there. It's kind of hard to believe because at least you could just grab a phone. I mean, you had uh, multiple people with you. I mean, <sighs> It's kind of hard to believe. I mean, it, it, it just. I mean, if you grab the phone to call 911, you can also grab another phone to record. Someone with you could record it and say, yeah, I'm recording this thing and it's in the backyard. I mean, don't anyone have a, a street cameras or anything? All right, so this person was on Twitter along with an image of the supposed cameras, the video camera surveillance system with the wireless transmission link that I recorded at the home on May 19 must have been a mirage or a figment of my imagination. If the Las Vegas Metro police are to be believed nice installed tasks, a uh, technical and civilian squad. All right. So uh, they basically put this camera to protect the family. I guess uh, some people just going, um, some people just going to their backyard and trying to see if they could find an alien in their backyard. Um, all I know is if uh, you know the owner could sell this house for like a million bucks, someone out there, Uf a UFO fanatic, would buy this house in a heartbeat. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. Um, yeah, I mean that's what they got, but it looks like Walmart camera, like one of those you know you see in the parking lot. <laughs> Man, I wonder what those two objects are. You, you, I mean, I don't know, but uh, that's what they put up there. I have no idea what this thing is here. All right, but once again, uh, that's where we are right now. Uh, Las Vegas UFO mystery get more weird as cops install cameras at home for residents reported seeing aliens. All right, is it because family are being harassed or so maybe there's a possibility the police just want to keep their eye on the family, maybe strange activity going on? Again, they keep saying that it's because if people keep bothering them, 
but my gut tells me there's a lot more to it. There is a lot more to it. I don't know, guys. Leave comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Give a like to Jesus Christ and get baptized. We are living in tough time. Till next time later. Peace.